Good afternoon, everybody. Jay Douglas here with you talking about playoffs in NBA and NHL. We're going to try and morph the two together here in this one podcast. At the time of this recording, the second round is just getting underway. The first round matchups, all of the series have been complete. We're going to run through the final series numbers, run through how that kind of compares to our predictions and kind of preview what we're looking for as we go forward. So we'll start with the NHL. That's what we typically follow more closely. But we have watched our fair share of NBA series. But to just give you a recap of where the NHL series are, so the Rangers swept the Caps and actually lead the series against the Canes 1-0, the Canes beating the Islanders in five games. The Panthers and Bruins, that round two series begins at the time of this recording tonight, which is Monday. The Bruins win seven game win in seven games over the Leafs. The Panthers won in five games over the Lightning. None of these results in the Eastern Conference surprised me. I think when I recorded initially, there were some first round games that had been completed. And I said the Panthers look like a dominant team. The Bruins look like a dominant team. That's a rematch from last year's first round. You're interested to see if the Bruins get revenge there. The Rangers and Canes, that actually looks like a fairly even matchup. Now, the Rangers kind of uh, imposed their will on Sunday when they won 4-3. I mean, they led 3-1 and never really looked back. But that Canes team, I think, is sneaky good, and they could give the Rangers some problems. But overall, these first results, now I'm very surprised the Leafs actually made that a seven-game series. I didn't think that would go seven games, but hats off to the Leafs. I know that Austin Matthews was injured a lot in that series. Now in the Western Conference, the Stars win seven games in seven games over the Kings. The Avs win in five over the Jets. Canucks win in six over the Preds, and the Oilers advance in five games over the Kings. This Canucks-Oilers matchup, I predicted that from the get-go, and then I predicted that the winner of that one would play the Winnipeg Jets. So that one I got wrong. The Winnipeg Jets ended up losing it for the second straight year. The Jets win game one of their series, but then lose the next four. The Avalanche going for that second championship in three years, and there will be a new champion, no back-to-back winner this year because the Golden Knights got it got ousted by the Stars. And a gutty series by Dallas. Dallas fell behind 2-0 with home ice advantage. So you're down 2-0. You're going on the road to Vegas and to win Next three, now Vegas did win in game six. The fact the Stars were able to come back in that series, that says a lot about that team. And they get revenge. They lost to the Vegas Golden Knights in the Western Conference Finals a year ago. The goalie decision in Boston with Jim Montgomery choosing to go with Swayman, he did not put Omar in in game seven, which is something he did a year ago with Swayman. So that didn't cost them anything. Swayman played very well. But with Vegas, they benched Logan Thompson. And he had won the two games to begin the series. So that coaching decision was a little bit of a question mark. And for the Canucks, talking about injuries to goalies, they lost Thatcher Demko and Casey DeSmith. So they win their series with a third-string goalie. I guess they were up 2-1. And that's when the third shooter came in, uh, Archer Chivlas, I think is his name. So hats off to them, and what a coaching job Rick Tockett has done. All these second-round matchups, I think, are going to be very interesting, and I would say they're going to be a toss-up. Now, now, at the time of this recording, there's only been one second-round series played, so we'll have to see how these series progress, and we'll be able to update you when they do go final. Let's shift things to the NBA now. In the East, the Celtics, the one seed, they take it in five games over the Heat. The Cavs, the fourth seed, take it in seven games over the Magic. The Pacers upset the Bucks in six games, and the Knicks beat the Sixers. So the only real pick that I got wrong, I think, was that Bucks game because I thought the Cavs would end up winning, and I did think the Knicks. Now, I gave the Sixers a chance, but it, ultimately I did like the Knicks in that series. Milwaukee, they had injuries to Giannis. I don't think Giannis played a single game in this series, and then Dame was hurt in one of the games. So injuries certainly derailed them, but you got to give the pace a lot of credit. It's not just that those stars got injured for Milwaukee. Indiana played very well. Tyrese Halliburton played really well. Pascal Siakam, you know, Miles Turner, you think about uh, uh, Nimard. I, I watched a lot of those games in that series, and that Pacers team, 
they look very they look very jailed and hats off to those players. The Cavs, if Donovan Mitchell stays healthy, now they got to get Jared Allen back because they don't have a good big man to match up with Porzingis. But if Donovan Mitchell stays healthy and Darius Garland starts playing really well, then you get a guy like Evan Mobley and Karis LeVert playing well, not to mention your bench guys. That Cavs team could give the Celtics a little bit of a tough matchup. Now, the Celtics, I think, will ultimately win, but the Cavs could certainly make it hard on them. And the Knicks Pacers, I think that's a toss-up series. Based on what I saw with Indiana beating Milwaukee, now I know the Knicks have arguably one of the best players in the postseason, Kalen Brunson. And, I mean, he's not alone, but he's the star. I know that the Pacers are going to struggle trying to stop him. But that Pacers team, they might be sneaky good. Then out west, you've got the one-seeded Thunder. They swept the Pelicans. The Mavs beat the Clippers in six games. The Thunder swept out the Suns. And the Nuggets beat the Lakers in five. Now the T-Wolves, I might have said Thunder twice. I do apologize. T-Wolves beat the Suns. T-Wolves have already won game one over the Nuggets. And I think the play of Carl Anthony Towns and Ruby Gobert on Nikola Jokic that's going to be the key throughout the series. They played very well on Jokic in game one. And whoever the t was put on Jamal Murray, they shut him down too. So you had Jokic and Murray non-existent in game one, which is probably why the t ended up winning. Will the play of those guys, whoever was guarding Murray, Gobert and Towns, will the play of those three guys Will that carry throughout seven games? You know, I think this series is going to go seven. And you can't count out the Nuggets just because they lost game one. But I did say I thought the T-Wolves could give them a tough series. Now, I had more faith in the T-Wolves if they had home court advantage. But they already took home court advantage with that winning game one. So it'll be very interesting to see. I still do like the Nuggets in this series. But it would not surprise me if the T-Wolves would end up winning the series. The Mavs. The Clippers did not have Kawhi Leonard. And honestly, I had forgotten that the Clippers had so much star power. They had Westbrook. They had Paul George and James Harden, along with Kawhi. Those four guys, and they couldn't get out of the first round. I think that says probably a lot about coaching. Ty lose the coach, which I don't think I knew. If they had a better coach, the Clippers, I think, would have fared a lot better. You also have to give the Mavs credit the play of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving and the play of those role players. The role players for the Mavs, they played better than the role players for the Clippers, and I think that's ultimately why the Mavs won that series. I mean, we talk about stars all the time, and we talk about how a team can have all this star power, but I think it's the play when those stars are not performing, when they have off games, I think it's up to the role players and the bench. When they play well, and make up for those games when those stars are not on, that, I think, is what's going to make the difference in a team going all the way and winning the championship. I don't know about this Thunder Mavs series. I don't feel confident in either one. The only two teams I feel confident in are the Celtics in the East and the Nuggets in the West. So let me know what your main takeaways are for the first round, and let me know what you're looking forward to in the second round. So my NBA Finals picks are still alive because I think I had the Celtics against the Nuggets. I think I did. And in the Stanley Cup, I think I said it was going to be the Panthers against the Canucks. It'll be interesting to see if that happens. Now, the Canucks do not have an easy series against the Oilers. And the Panthers, nothing's going to be given against the Bruins. The Bruins, a team that had you 3-1 a year ago. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. Even though I predicted these teams to win and make the Finals, any team can do it. I, I think any team left in the playoffs, they can pull off the upset. They can go on a, on a deep run. Nobody can be counted out. So like last time, we're going to wait for these second round series to play out. And we'll be back to talk to you about the conference finals. And then once we get to the actual finals, we'll probably do every two games. So when we get to the NBA and Stanley Cup finals, we'll let two games go. Then we'll do a podcast and kind of do it more prominently and more common when we get down to the finals. So be sure you give this podcast a listen. Go back and listen to our previous podcast. Uh, it's been a week, so we hope that you took the time while we were working on this podcast and waiting for these games to play out and putting this one together. I hope you guys went back and listened to our previous ones. Please do that. 
And we will also have some play-by-play -play commentary coming up this week as well. We enjoy doing this. We appreciate your viewership. And we hope that that continues. We hope to continue to bring you more podcasts as we go. Now, with the NBA and NHL kind of winding down, we'll have to find other topics. But we're going to get to our MLB podcast. I'm sure we'll have another NASCAR podcast. And the Olympics is coming up, too. So those are some ideas going forward. So we hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Stay safe. And again, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your alerts on so you'll be notified anytime we push out new content. We appreciate it so much. We'll talk to you guys again soon. God bless you all.